What's up everyone, this is CyberNi8610, and today we're going to be opening up the uh, Yukio uh, Merrick Ishtar Art FX PVC figure for you guys. Just like the previous figure opening that we've done, uh, Hobby Link Japan sent me this to do an unboxing on, so be sure to check them out, link in the description. Also, that means that this video is sponsored by Hobby Link Japan. Anyway, we're going to go on ahead and open up this figure, show you guys what it looks like and everything. And I got to say, the detail in this figure looks amazing too, just like the previous ones. Even have the Millennium Rod and different windows for it, kind of like how they did for Yami America, which we've already opened up too. There's kind of a better picture of them as well, like on the box. And uh, let's go ahead and open this up and uh, show you guys everything about this figure. I'm trying to show you guys everything on the box and everything too, because I always love the artworks that they have. I remember seeing, uh, there was no tape on that already. Okay, I was double checking to make sure. I couldn't remember if it was uh, still tight on this one or not. Yeah, I went ahead and cut through the tape before I started the recording. Make things a little bit easier. So I know I remember seeing a lot of you uh, want me to do an opening on this figure, just like you did for Bakura. Next I need to get like the Yami or a Tim, whatever you want to go with, uh, Pharaoh figure. We'll do an opening on that too. There's a lot of figures still announced, too, for Yu-Gi-Oh. Can't wait to see what else they're going to have. I still hope, though, for, like, GX and, and other series as well. Like, Elemental Heroes like this would be amazing. So first off, with the top of the plastic, you also have the instructions. I don't think we're really going to need these because it's kind of obvious when you see the figure. But, uh, yeah, we have those just in case. So, of course, first off, here's everything as it's in the box and everything laid out. We have a dual disc for Merrick right there. It's in plastic and everything have a version of him without his shirt on, so the fangirls are going to love that, right? But it's pretty cool because it has like his tattoo and everything, which we'll get a better look at that here in a second. I don't know if you guys... Yeah, it looks like it focused it on that pretty well. I like the tattoo they has on the show with the god cards on it and everything. Looks like we have some different hair for him as well. Hmm, I don't know, maybe that goes with like a different pose or something. But yeah, he has extra hair, you know, in case you lose your hair. Might as well have some extra. Also have the Millennium Rod. Hope we can actually hold it this time. It looks like he can, like from the artworks and everything we've seen, because the Yami version of it just had it where he was on his belt. So that looks basically the same as the previous one. I'll move this to the side. There we go. Also have a hand for him to hold cards, if you want to hold some cards in his hand. There you go. Well, let me see if we'll focus. There we are. Okay. Great detail on those as always. And we also have a card right there, which I'll have to, to get out here in a second, because I'll need a knife or something to help me cut through the tape. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. I mean, with detail and everything, right out of the box. So, and then let's go ahead and get that card out of there real quick. I have to kind of get through that tape if I can. There we go. And then, of course, going through the box and everything, we also have a card right there. I had to kind of just cut through that tape real quick. It has like a back of a Yu-Gi-Oh card on there. It's really hard to show to you guys because... Such a small little piece of plastic, you know, just like the previous ones, though. Same thing that you've seen before. But yeah, let me go ahead and set up the figure and everything, and then we'll talk about it. All right, so first off, here's what he looks like straight from the box and everything. I went on ahead and put the Millennium Rod in his hand, as you guys can see, and he just holds it just normal. I mean, it's kind of the standard pose, really, on this one. I like this a little bit better because, like, with the Yami Merrick, like I said, he didn't actually hold the Millennium Rod, and I thought that was kind of a missed opportunity. I mean, the figure other than that looked amazing, obviously. I mean, Yami Merrick, I mean, he's insane-looking and awesome. You know, it's kind of like Super Saiyan Merrick, even, really, <laughs> with his hair. But uh, just the normal form of him, I think, is pretty cool actually hold the Millennium Rod because I thought, like I said, was kind of a missed opportunity that they did uh, by not having it like that in the other figure. But of course, too, here's what it looks like and everything from the front of his figure to the back of it and everything, too. Like I said, I know the fangirl's definitely going to want to get this figure. This is basically the equivalent of how we feel about Dark Magician Girl, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, all kidding aside, the figure is great detail, just like uh, previous ones that we talked about. I mean, with this one, you have it where he can just hold the Liam Rod and look normal. You can have it where he actually has a uh, dual disc on, and he's like in, like a dueling pose sort of thing. You can have that going on, which would really look cool, too, if you had him like across from Bakura, since they duel against each other. You can have them both like in a dueling pose like that or, uh, you know, even against Yuki or some of the other characters, so that's pretty neat. Even having it so he can hold one of the cards in his hand. And then, of course, obviously, too, they have the where you can have the shirtless uh, pose for him, where he actually has the tattoo on his back going over the different god cards and everything, like the ritual, which basically starts off Dawn of the Duel. So I think it's cool they include something like that. Again, I still think it's something that's kind of funny uh, that the figure has, but it is something that's cool, and it has a lot of detail to his tattoo and everything, too. So I'm glad to see that... Uh, uh, they put that kind of effort and detail into a figure like that, and it looks just like in the show. I mean, it looks awesome with hieroglyphics and 
thing and each of the god cards being on his back. And then, of course, not only that, you can go with something that's not even part of the show. He can duel shirtless, you know, like the rest of us, right? So <laughs> I think that's kind of funny, too. You can kind of mix and match and everything. And he even has different hair and, and stuff, too. So, yeah, why not some shirtless dueling? What's wrong with that? You know, hashtag shirtless dueling. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that is definitely kind of funny. You can mix and match it like that. And, uh, again, I mean, just like I've always said with these figures, they don't have as much uh, posability as some of the other ones because they don't have all the different joints, but they definitely have the details. So this one is the same on that, and I feel like this one is a little bit better value than some of the other figures, just because there are more parts and stuff with him. Because you do have, like, different torsos for him, and he can hold the limb rod. He doesn't have to. He can have a dual disc. He can look like he's dueling. He can look like he's just standing there. It doesn't matter. You have many different poses for him, so honestly, I think he looks uh, really awesome. I think it's one of the better figures to get for Yu-Gi-Oh! But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you not like it so much? Like I said, I know anyone that's fan of Merrick will definitely want to get this figure because obviously it looks amazing. And like I said, with all the different pieces and stuff they're getting, I feel like it's definitely worth it. So let me know in the comments what you guys think on that as well as like this video. It helps out a ton. And again, thank you to Hobby Link Japan for sending me this figure to do an unboxing on. Like I said, we'll try to get some other figures in the future too. I know there's one of a Tim later on. I'll, I'll just call him that. You know, Pharaoh, Yami, a Tim, whatever one you want to go with. He has a figure of him actually in his Pharaoh outfit. I would love to do an opening on that. And there's some other really cool things coming out for Yu-Gi-Oh! too. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see some of those openings as well. And uh, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings and uh, random Yu-Gi-Oh! openings like we did today, even like figures and stuff too. Again, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.